Hey, I'm Orion Lawler, and this is where I'm hoping to put in a uh, pretty big permanent greenhouse for my wife. We uh, we have these little semi-disposable greenhouses we keep putting up, but uh, this is Fairbanks, Alaska. There's a ton of snow. So I'm, my first goal is to just get everything sort of semi-level. Oh, it's not COVID. Uh, the diesel fumes just kind of get to my allergies. Well, that's now what's supposed to happen. So what's supposed to happen is the cable from the battery is controlled by a little cable from the key and it just connects up the uh, the battery through the solenoid to the starter. Now the problem was that uh, the, the solenoid kicked in uh, and the, the starter started turning the engine but uh, then the uh, solenoid dropped out and the starter kept running. So this is actually probably I have kind of this ancient, horrible chunk of uh, copper that uh, that's stuck in here. Apparently it welded itself shut there, which is frustrating. To be honest, watching dirt moving even in 8x speedup is uh, still pretty boring, so I am just, uh, this is like 50x sped up here. Uh, so the basic idea, I'm just trying to make a flat spot. Uh, a lot of the dirt I'm actually rolling off to a low spot on my driveway. Because this is mining tailings, there's quite a lot of really huge rocks. Well, it's not pretty, but I've realized that uh, you almost never want to make it pretty until you make sure that it's the right basic shape. Uh, here's the other thing. I mean, this is Alaska. Uh, that snow, it's, uh, we had a ton of snow this year. Holy cow. Beyond the snow, you can see that I've got pretty much the flat spot for the building. I do need to slope down those big uh, rock piles. This is a UAV shot, which hopefully is obvious now. So the basic idea, uh, i got to finish the dirt work, flatten everything out, put in a pad, uh, and then put in a greenhouse. Simple as that. So here I'm, uh, it's actually a few days later, and uh, I'm, I'm finishing up to try and get uh, the rest of those piles you know, leveled off. It's not really for water like it would be in most dirt. It doesn't drain nearly as well as these big loose rock piles. It's, it's actually more just because uh, if there's a big pile of rocks, then it just gets in the way, looks ugly. So I'm basically just trying to slope things down. There's, a, there's about a 10-foot drop-off off, off, uh, off the edge of this, uh, this flat area. Okay, so once things are pretty much flat, then I just got to go and pick uh, some of the rocks out. Again, easier by hand. I end up having to do this basically where I was dropping the fill dirt off, so uh, going and just uh, grabbing loads of rocks, uh, put them in a wheelbarrow. I've got a, a spot on the driveway that could actually use some, uh, some good structural support there. So then uh, I saw some stuff, some white powder, and it looks weird. Okay, I, I got two 
two pieces here. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure, the stuff on the left is wood. Right? It, uh, it's fibrous. Right? It, uh, it mostly breaks down along the, the lignin fibers. Uh, this stuff, it breaks the opposite direction. I mean, it's uh, it's round and has sort of growth uh, uh, grains. So I think this is actually like an ancient piece of ivory. It actually has kind of an animal-y, musky kind of smell to it, too, which is probably some long extinct uh, creature. So we found the spot where the ivory was coming from, and there's a tree growing out of it, but there's definitely something under the tree, which we're trying to excavate. Uh, start off doing this by hand, That's that takes a long time. Uh, switch to a shovel, that still takes a really long time. Said, you know what, I got a backhoe sitting right here, why don't I just use the backhoe? And uh, the backhoe makes really short work of it. I got the thing excavated, so let me show you. But, boy, when I'm doing an outro in this hot sun and I really want payola, I sure would like to drink some product. They could be have a placement. Boy, do I have the thing for you. Oh, hey, voiceover man. Good doing business with you again. Who's the sponsor today? It's tap water. Why, I've never heard of that. It has no calories. Want some? Sure, I'd be happy to try it. It has no fat, no salt. Looks pretty. The first 50 viewers can try tap water today for free using promo code. It comes right out of your tap. I can taste those... <coughs> Okay, here's that tusk that I pulled out. This thing is big. It, uh, it's almost a meter long, uh, 30, 30 some inches. It's, uh, it, it, it looks a lot like a stump, to be honest. You know, if you saw this sitting there, especially where it's got roots growing out of it, but it's extremely heavy. There's an important question you might ask here. How the heck is there a giant tusk here in Alaska? Because Alaska definitely does not have anything with tusks at this point. So, uh, this is from the Ice Age, when uh, this is probably from a woolly mammoth. Those were very large animals. Uh, down here is uh, mining tailings, so this was all dredged. Uh, that, uh, that hill there is all permafrost, so it's uh, frozen dust, basically. And then uh, uh, the, the dredge came through and basically... And this was about uh, uh, 70 years ago, uh, in the 1940s, 1950s, is when they were dredging this particular area. So, I don't know if you can see, there's these parallel ridges in the ground. Those parallel ridges in the ground are from the dredge uh, outlet bucket swinging back and forth. And they would have, they, they mined, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of different uh, fossil bones and things. I haven't really figured out what I want to do with it. I have a much smaller bone sitting on my kitchen table for a long time. Uh, it's definitely springtime, and uh, everything is greening up so bad, I think I'm going to leave you with a time lapse. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm surprised to have found a tusk. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. Uh, this is 11.30 at night, because it's Fairbanks, Alaska, and uh, it's even in May, we're starting to get the midnight sun. Uh, so lots of other fun things uh, gonna be happening here. Uh, hopefully I'm going to finish a greenhouse back there. So uh, if you enjoyed my stupid video, please uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, mail me your paycheck.